Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on today's video. Well, we are getting started a little bit early. It's five o'clock in the morning. Cars are, I caught them, the cars are starting to pull in. Uh, actually, it's 4.45 in the morning, to be honest with you. And uh, all the cars up top on the hill. Let's go up here and see what's going on. I, I come up here the top you can see all those lights up there so we are going up here to see what's going on and uh, actually we know what's going on they are actually fixing to pour the slab of the house how exciting is that I told Steph that I was going to set my alarm because I wanted to see things go up and uh, that way we can put it in the video and uh, just have part of it and i think today is day number eight yeah today is day number eight since they started so we're going to go up here see how many concrete trucks show up let's see guys it's 4 45 in the morning the sun's not even up and check it out they're yet they're out here trying to beat the heat All right, guys, that is the first cement truck coming in. Look at that. That's pretty neat footage right there, guys. Got the big boss man over there. Hopefully he bought, brought dinner today because this is his last day here. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I want some of them famous, famous I make, tacos. I, I make carne asada, pollo asado. Oh, wow. Listen there. I Sound like... Some salsas. Oh, wow. I hope he ain't joking. <laughs> All right, guys, this is awesome. This is day number eight in which, when I say days, they did, not every day they worked here. We're just trying to keep up with when, you know, our days to put the videos to get back together. Finally coming in. It still flew. It, it, it did good. It even balanced good. Uh uh. The first truck just started unloading. Wow. Kids, they're pouring y'all's bedroom right now. That's gonna be the floor to your rooms. All right, they're going into the girls' room. All right, guys, so now they're moving the truck over. They've already got poured the concrete for this end over here. So now they're going to pull the truck over there. And those, wow, that's crazy. 
Jaime's getting after it. There's no telling how many of these uh, houses or pads Jaime's actually poured. Starting to come daylight. All right, looks like they're fixing to start pouring right there in the bathroom area. Boy, that light sure did light. Lighten it up. All right, this, the girls in late, well, almost all the kids' rooms are, got concrete in them now. So I guess now they're just kind of smoothing it out. I was talking to them yesterday. They got some other tools they put on it to make it really, really smooth. They're starting to smooth the concrete out now. Guys, the second truck's here. That right here is the front porch, guys, as you go in the house. This is going to be part of the sidewalk after they get done.
All right, guys, so now they are pouring our bedroom. guys they are waiting on one more truck to come finish off over here in the corner we got to finish that corner and then the back porch and then the building over here but look at this concrete it's starting to set up it's amazing So they're going to pour the back porch and then they will go to the, I hear the semi now, or I hear this concrete truck, but um, they'll pour, pour the back porch here, finish over there in the garage. And then they got the, the small building over here. Anyway, sounds like the fourth truck is here and they're going to finish that and um, then do what concrete people do we'll sit back and watch a little bit of it try to get you a little bit of footage but kind of go from there and then we got to get the day started with uh, with the farm chores so it's been an early morning but it's been fun uh, to get to see all this go happen in real life all right guys so i guess this is already starting to set up they've got their machine over here and he's uh whatever that thing does there i have no clue
All right, so they poured the last little bit over here in the garage and they're kind of smoothing everything out right now. And I guess when this dries, that machine over here will come over. Pretty neat, guys. All right, guys, so now they are pouring this little shed that's going to be back here behind our house. All right, guys, Steph's fixing to come up here and see the house for the first time, or the slab. The slab's what we've been super excited about, just getting a slab. So, which this is the fourth concrete truck. Yep, that's what they're pouring right now. That's the last one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, so we come back down to the house. They have done an amazing job on the slab up there. And we'll go back up there in just a little bit. But I had to break away because we got to take everything out of the chicken house again. Um, kind of been keeping something under, under wraps or kind of, we've had some things working in the background. One of, the, one of the, my friends here lives locally. Um, they started a spray foam business and uh, he reached out to me probably about two weeks ago and said that uh, he had seen uh, one of the videos and Kaysen was sweating really bad and you know he wanted to um, he wanted to come out here because we was talking about finishing the insulation. Well, he said that he wanted to come out here and spray foam Kaysen's uh, chicken building. So um, Kaysen's pretty excited. We're excited. We're going to go up there and actually get everything out. So when he gets here, he can just go ahead and get everything spray foam. All right, guys, so Tony and Randy just got here. Um, this is their spray foam rig here, better temp. Like I told y'all earlier, they is going to come out and um, spray foam the, the tiny building for the, the chicken house. Um, like, uh, I don't know if I told y'all earlier, but um, Tony reached out to me here a couple weeks ago and wanted to know if uh, we'd be interested in getting the building spray foamed and he said he's seen a uh, casing in there sweating and all all hot so he he asked if uh, he could come out and uh, spray foam it for us i told him there's already some spray a uh, little bit of insulation in there but he said they take it all out and just spray foam it but um they are locally here in our area 
um, they just started um, spray foaming here a few months ago. Actually, they just went and got the lettering on their trailer. So it's better temp spray foam. And this is their website phone number. So if you're definitely in this area or I'm sure they'll, we'll find out how far they actually travel because I know it's hard to find. Um, I know when we was trying to get our tiny home spray foamed, it was uh, hard to find someone um, because they had so much, so many jobs. It, uh, there's just very few people out there that do this job. So um, we come up here this morning and, and moved out the uh, feed and stuff. And as you see, it looks like our Jubilees are out. Somehow they got out, but um, just kind of getting everything piled out. We got a lot of this out the other day doing the flooring, but already tore the flooring. Kevin's gonna be upset about that, but we might just have to have him come back down here and do another one or help me or show me how to patch it. But so how long have y'all been uh, spray foaming, Tony? Oh, did it about 10 years ago for about five or six years. Right. Yeah, we just been, the start, he started the business up about what, a couple months ago, Randy, when yeah. we got started again. I'm just trying to help him get going on it, so. How far do y'all travel? We'll do all of Oklahoma or uh, North Texas. North Texas, Oklahoma. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. And like I said, uh, on the trailer, the website's there, the phone number's there. Um, so as we go throughout the day, I'm going to show you um, how they set it up. And I think this will be good too. So if you are building something or thinking about getting something built, you can see how fast they can put this insulation in and how easy it is. Um, because it didn't take no time uh, for the tiny home. So we'll show bits and pieces of it, how they get it set up and stuff like that. So be sure to follow along. All right, so um, what, what are you doing now, Tony? Just kind of getting the hose out? Yeah. Yeah, because you're going to have to drag it out there and try to hook up the electricity down there. Okay. So we just kind of... Oh, wow. There's yeah, all kinds of... Yeah, we haven't got a generator yet, so... Right. Working on getting that done, so... Holy cow, this is. So I guess y'all have to wear the mask and all that when you're yeah, spraying? Yeah, you have to be suited up, have the mask on. That's some pretty hard stuff, isn't it? The chemicals? When you're spraying it, it gives off a little bit of a toxic. Uh -huh. But after it cures, it it's good. Done. Sweet. So the deal is, is um, they're getting the hose out right now because they're going to have to take it down to the house because I don't have electricity over here yet. Hopefully that is the next thing we got coming is the electricity, but um, we're just going to play it by ear and see how it works out. kind of sealing the windows off there yeah we're going to, uh, on the windows okay we'll put plastic over the little windows take off the plugs and uh, we'll lay plastic down on the floor okay wow all right so um well he's doing up here just like he said he's going to go around and put um plastic on all the windows here and then they're going to go ahead and, <clears throat> and do the plug-ins as well. So um, while they're doing all this here, going through and getting everything uh, taped off, we're going to let them do that. Then we're going to run up here to where they're working on the pad. And we're going to take a look and see what the pad looks like. I know they're fixing to do some trialing and stuff to, to make it really, really smooth. I'm um, talking to the guys uh, later on this evening. Um, we're going to squirt some water on it and before we go to bed we're going to squirt some water on it and what they they said what that does is it slows the curing process down and um lets it cure really good so we're going to kind of go back and forth uh different projects it's pretty crazy got a bunch of people here a bunch of things going on so look here this is what you call a good boss right here bring bring lunch and everything Oh man, cooking some tortillas and everything. Wow. 
All right, so we're gonna try one of these these things and see what it, if it's really that hot. All right, guys, check out though. What what did you call this? Lemon chicken? Uh, lemon marinade. Lemon marinade. Well, that's got a good taste. We will always remember this tree for sure. It ain't every day you get a meal right here underneath the tree. I like these kind of meals, so. All right guys, we're here checking out the slab, but I got to look and there's a bloom flying over our property. I wonder if that's one of those spy blooms. That's crazy, where'd that thing come from? Wow. It's been a little bit since I've been back up here and that's what they're doing right now is kind of floating the, the pad. It's starting to look really, really good. So you got three guys over here and then you got one guy over there on the, on that little building. So this is the garage. The garage has got a slant coming at it. So they did say, so they did say that the forms and stuff would come down today. So um, we'll be able to see the whole slab. That'll be pretty neat. So we're going to head back down here and we're going to go check out the insulation, see where they're at. That was some good burritos right there. He said he was gonna bring. He said he was gonna cook some, and he stuck to his word, man. Um, Tommy, we, we'll definitely have him back out the farm doing some concrete work for sure. Later on, once we get everything settled. All right, looks like we made it back down here just in time. They're on their last window here. They got everything taped off at the top up here, and then they got everything taped off over here. So. That was quick. They didn't waste no time. They got their hose in here. Got it all. You gonna have enough line? Yes. Good yeah. deal. Yeah. Good deal. So they got it all taped and should be good to go. I think they're going to spray uh, the door with open cell. Wow, that dries quick. Yeah, oh yeah, that's quick. Yeah, you spray some on here just to get you to make sure that everything's mixing good. See, it's good and solid inside there now, see? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Yeah. I love that stuff, man. That's how I do it. <laughs> Looks like it makes it a lot easier than than having to put all the insulation up there by hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a little more expensive, but you make the building more rigid. You get a whole lot better insulation value out of it. And uh, it keeps your house cooler and warmer. Right, yeah. yeah. This will be, a, you get an R 3.8 per inch, so we're going to be having about a... Uh, R13 or something like that, pretty close. Wow. In this building. That's awesome.
tractor working on that side now, so that looks really, really good. They're doing an amazing job. So right now, I'm kind of like running back and forth. I've left the camera running here, went up there and talked to those guys. Um, they just finished the slab, so let's walk up here. They are done now. Uh, they just kind of put some water on it, but the slab is complete. Check it out, guys. That's awesome. That's amazing. So all we really got left now is to come back and take the forms off, which you see they've already took one of them off. They've already took one off right there. Looks good. It's amazing. So we'll come back up later and start putting uh, some water and stuff on it. So anyways, guys, the slab is done. So what we're waiting on next is going to be the framers. And then from there, it's just going to continue. We will um, shoot video day by day when it happens. I think today is day eight. And uh, we're super excited about it. And we can't thank y'all enough for following us along and um, being a part of our family and y'all investing time in us because we greatly appreciate it. Without each and every one of y'all, we wouldn't be able to do the things we do. And uh, we just love each and every one of y'all. So that's one reason we enjoy going live with y'all so much so we can interact with y'all that's the least that we can do so we're gonna go over here and uh so we're just kind of swapping back and forth we got a mess we got to clean up but we're going to get it clean that one was super heated uh-huh so it's probably about 130 140 coming off that oh my gosh that's some serious stuff right there then. Heat it and then it produces heat when it's clearing. Uh-huh. So yeah. It's just it's hot right there by. So you got the heat coming from that and then you got the heat from the sun. So it's really, really hot. Yeah. So I guess it's one of those deals you just take breaks and kinda go from there. Yeah. Check that bad boy out there, guys. Wow. Figure we'd hop up here and get a little bit of footage of it. Yeah. They're breaking the forms down, guys. Oh, 
It's looking good. Hot water, yeah, I bet it is hot. Taking it down. Tommy's putting water on it right now. And even afterwards, when they leave, we're going to keep water on it uh, to, to, I guess it helps it uh, cure slowly or something like that. Thank y'all. All right, guys, that's it. The concrete people are leaving and we're going to be putting water on it here after a while. So we're going to ease back down here to the insulation and see where we're at there. So it's just been back and forth all day long. It's amazing. We're just super, super excited. So we're gonna go down here and check things out. Oh wow, it's really a lot of snow. Yeah. A lot of snow. All right guys, Steph just made it home. We are up here washing, or not washing, we are putting water taking on the shower. Fire. Yeah, taking the shower. <laughs> so as soon as they left, I went and got the sprinkler, hooked the sprinkler up, and it's been going the whole time. Um, they said w to keep water on it because it keeps it green. And my, from my understanding, the slower it cures, the better it hardens or something like that. So... We're going to pretty much keep the water on it all afternoon until the sun goes down and then we'll soak it down real good before we um, before we go to bed tonight and it should be good tomorrow so anyways we're super excited and um, man there's been so much going on today and if you're new to the channel thank you for joining um, it's been a journey to get here but um, this is pretty much going to wrap the day up. We started at about 4.30 this morning. And, um, yeah, it's going to be... I started early. around 8.30. Yeah, we started at 4.30. <laughs> the, the, I started getting notifications, uh, vehicles coming in the driveway. So, it's been fun, man. Honestly, I'm glad it's done. But I hate it because Jaime and his group's gone. And the other two gentlemen... Um, that are the superintendents they're gone man they they've been a blast and you know i'm glad we get to show this and i hope uh other people can can see um if you're i just i don't know it they've been a blast it's just been so much fun um them walking us through step by step um they've been above and beyond what they have to do um, so I'm really, really thankful, um, that we, we have them for, well, we're actually losing those two. Yeah. We'll be getting another, uh, superintendent, but we've met him and, uh, he's going to be awesome to work with. He's been real helpful. He's from this area as well. And, um, yeah, but like I told him when he left, 
I was like, hey, I can't wait till you get back because that means the framers are coming back. So, um, woo! So, that's going to be um, awesome when they get here. Um, I'm going to tell you, the Chickasaw Nation are to be proud of the guys they have out in the field. I know they don't get to see it much or hear it much, but these guys have been awesome to us, and we're thankful for everything they've done for us because they did not have to... You know, for instance, go through and show us some of the things that have changed on the plans. They could have been just like, you know, um, you can come in when it's done or whatever. But uh, they've been amazing. So, anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new, be sure to like and subscribe. Hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.